what's up y'all heard me life is .com. we had to give presentations in front of the class uh, a couple of days ago and there's a couple of older I say more mature people in our class and one of the guys got up there and did his presentation he kept saying I'm I'm an old school cat and I'm not up on this technology stuff because we're talking about it's a database management class and so we were talking about relational database and how it could be beneficial for people and so he kept saying I'm an old school cat and I'm not used to this and so when it was over some of the feedback from the instructor was you know you did a nice job but it would be in your best interest that whenever you you give a presentation again to leave out the I'm an old school cat and, and how little you know about technology don't get up there and say any of that just go ahead on with the presentation well if you ever are the person on the receiving end of feedback advice constructive criticism make sure you internalize it as such constructive make sure you see it for what it is you know the guy good dude I talked to the dude afterwards and indeed the guy felt that he was too harsh and that he was being targeted and that it was uncalled for and that the guy must not have liked him for some reason in order, in order to do that. I was like, no, I'm like, think about it. You know, actually the guy is going beyond what is probably what is called for by the course, but it is something that every instructor should be doing. And that is he's looking to the, at the bigger picture and trying to help us to... Um, work on all the skills is going to put us in a better position actually not even depending on what you're going to do with the course but going through life in general you know because it of course is going to help you if you eliminate if, if you're being coached on how to best give a presentation and what things to eliminate and how to make it better you could be giving a presentation about anything that applies if you're doing a uh, an interview for a job to eliminate the negative negative elements you know and so the train, you know, it was good feedback. It was excellent feedback, and it was beneficial. But only if he perceived it as being constructive criticism and lessons to be taken away from it. But if he, uh, maybe he thought about it later. But if he allowed the thoughts to rest in his mind that he was being targeted and that it was uncalled for and unnecessary, and the guy don't like him, and that's why he said what he said, well then. The next time he gets up and make a presentation, it may include some of the same types of statements. And of course, I don't have to tell you, of course that detracts from the presentation. So I want you to think about that because, you know, oftentimes uh, many of us will make the same types of statement out loud as a disclaimer before we go into something. I've done it on some of these videos before, you know, I think on the last video I said something about, um, not having time to edit it, this, that, the other. Don't why even mention that? Forget that. Just do the thing. Let it go. I mean, do whatever you're gonna do. If you're not gonna edit it, just do the thing. Leave it like that, and that's it. You don't have to talk about why you're not editing it. I don't know. That might be a different type of scenario, but you know what I'm talking about. You, you know. Um, that's all I got to say. Thanks for watching. Peace. Like, subscribe. Yeah, how they say it.